welcome to my channel. Today's video is a super exciting one because we can finally afford a Natasha Denona palette. <laughs> so as most of you all know, Natasha Denona is very popular for her big eyeshadow palettes. She makes these palettes with these big ass pans and she sells them for over $200. The cheaper ones that she had that had less shadows were $129. And she's been releasing these $129 palettes every few months. I always look at them, I always want them, I can never justify purchasing them because $129 for a palette that um, is going to just become part of my collection and that I'm not going to get a daily use out of, to me, is a lot of money. However, Natasha Denona has blessed us because she just released a new palette that is smaller. This is called the Sunrise Palettes and the shades are to die for. I'm going to go ahead and show you a close-up of them in a minute. So if you are excited for this video and you're excited to see how I came up with this look, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. And if this is the first video you watch of me, my name is Fadi and I would love it if you subscribed to my channel before you leave. It would mean the world to me. So let's not wait any longer. Let's just go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so first of all, the price. She dropped the palette from $129 to $65. Now my concern was whether or not we were getting ripped off, like whether the pans and the sizes were going to be a lot smaller in comparison to the price. Like when you buy um, travel size items at Sephora, you usually end up paying more for less because yes, the price is cheaper, but you're getting a fraction of what you would have gotten if you got the full size. So that was also my concern. And basically this one has at the same amount of shades that the big palettes have and she basically cut the eyeshadow size in half and also the price in half so nobody's getting ripped off in fact um, you actually get a bit more for your price and when you buy the small one which is a gift from the heavens and from Miss Natasha Denona herself um, the reason I know all of this is because my friend Tara Lynn here on YouTube did the math for us. Um, she is an amazing YouTuber. She does tons and tons of product reviews. Very, very detailed. She went gram by gram and did the math on whether or not we were getting ripped up with these smaller Natasha Denona palettes and I highly recommend that you go watch her video if you guys are interested. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description box down below. Even before I knew that the price was worth it, I was still going to go ahead and buy it because I usually buy Huda Beauty eyeshadows and this is the same price as those and it has a very similar amount of shades, if not exactly the same and also the colors spoke to me tremendously. So here is a close-up at the packaging me taking it out of the box and the shades and what they look like. Um, so obviously I love the color story, I love the vibrant yellows, I love the combination of mattes and shimmers and I also love the nice deep purpley shades. Um, this is the look that I came up with today which I'll show you a tutorial of in a few minutes and I cannot wait to continue playing with this palette. You guys know a five looks one palette video will be coming up next week with this beauty right here. I am going to start working on it hopefully tomorrow and I have the whole weekend off so I'm going to be filming and editing non-stop so I can get this video up as soon as I can for you guys. When big palettes like this one release that have a ton of shades, I love doing five looks one palettes with it. Thank you so much to those of you who've been like commenting and subscribing to my channel lately with the other palette videos that I've uploaded. I really appreciate you guys. Let me go ahead and show you guys some swatches of this palette so you can see all the shades side by side swatched. Okay guys, so here's the first two rows swatched. I'm missing an entire row because I ran out of space over here. So starting from here, this is the color Poppy Citrine Flux Awakening. Laurel. Then the second row we have Oster, Glory, Ozaela, Morgan, and Agate. I think that would be how you say this one. Um, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, of course. Um, just so you know, like swatching these eyeshadows, I don't think I've ever swatched more buttery eyeshadows than these. They never felt dry at all. Like even the matte eyeshadows are super, super buttery going on the arms. So I'm very, very impressed by that. I already played with them on my eyes and I honestly didn't notice that when I was putting them on with brushes but when you touch them with your fingers you realize how truly creamy these shades are. The only one that wasn't as creamy was this one here. 
Azaela, I think this one's called. Um, and it's a little bit more like dusty, shimmery rather than a very creamy one like the rest of these shimmers wear. Let me show you guys the swatches that we're missing. Alright guys, so this right here is the last row. And I think this might be my favorite row in the palette. Those mattes feel so freaking buttery. Um, we have clove, we have carnelian, we have jasper, we have morning, and we have day spring right here. This shade is so beautiful. I cannot wait to put it all over my eyeballs. <laughs> Honestly guys, those eyeshadows feel like butter. I'm so impressed by the consistency of them. I cannot wait to continue playing with this palette. I cannot wait to do my five looks one palette video with it. Like I am so freaking excited that I can finally own Natasha Denona palette. I never bought any of the little ones even though the price was cheaper because I just felt like ripped off for like five shades. You pay so much money. But this right here is perfect and I hope that she has good sales and I hope that she sees that this is like what we like so she can continue making palettes this size that a lot of us can buy rather than the more expensive ones. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree with that statement. <laughs> um, let me know, make you wait any longer. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial so that you guys can see how I did this eyeshadow look in case you guys are interested and then I'll be back to tell you guys my final thoughts. Here we are, I have no makeup on, just the brows and my skincare of course and we are going to start playing with this palette. I know that I asked you guys to vote um, if you guys liked the makeup tutorials from a little further away or very very close to the camera and everybody pretty much said very very close to the camera but this video is not just a makeup tutorial. When I do the 5 looks 1 palette video all 5 looks are going to be from very very up close. This one here is also my first impressions, I have not touched one of these eyeshadows yet. So I definitely want to play and see how they blend and give you guys my first impressions and I feel like for that you have to look at my whole face, not just like my eye and like the top of my cheekbone. Um, so that is why I chose to do this video a little bit further away than when I put you guys like right here uh, because I want to be able to tell you guys what I'm thinking as I'm trying these eyeshadows. I cannot wait to dig in so let's get started. Okay. So the eyelids are primed. I have a little bit of concealer right underneath my brows and that is it, nothing else on my face. So, okay, first one I'm going to grab is this one here. This is my Morphe E23. Just any big fluffy brush will work for this. I think the first one I want to grab is the color Citrine, which is this beautiful yellow shade right here. And we're going to go ahead and put it on the crease of the eye right there. Doing windshield wiper motions. That was pigmented right away. And that is a beautiful shade of yellow. So I'm just blending it back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and grab a bit more. I have never worn Natasha Denona eyeshadows. I have used them at work on clients, but I have never used them on myself because I could never justify buying a $129 palette. Honestly, that's why. Um, so I am so happy that she decided to make smaller palettes like the moment I saw it I wanted it but when I saw the price I was like honestly so thankful so thank you so much Natasha Denona now that like I don't know now that she's ever gonna watch this video but like thank you so much um, I'm sure she can see that we're thankful by the amount of sales her palette is getting because a lot more people can afford a $65 palette rather than a $129 palette that shade is there and it is stunning. We're going to do the same thing on the other side and this kind of like blends itself. Look at how easy it is to build this yellow shade. A lot of palettes are coming out with yellow shades and I am into it. I really love this trend. <laughs> I kind of want to do like just a yellow look, like just yellow all over, all around, just yellow. I think I like this color that much. <laughs> um, let's not go crazy though. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a slightly smaller brush. This one's also a round blending brush, but just not as thick as the first one. This happens to be the M513 by Morphe. I think I'm going to grab the color um, Carnelian, I think it's called. It's this one right here at the bottom. It's like more of a mustard yellow rather than a really bright yellow. Um, just because it's like got a bit of orange in it too, so it'll really give this a bit more dimension, I think. Yeah, see how it looks more orangey in comparison to the first 
yellow but it looks beautiful so i started on the outer corner right there and i'm blending it into the crease ever so slightly i feel like this is so easy like i feel like i'm doing it so fast here's a little tip to give you guys if you guys are ever like just building that color on the outer corner and then taking it into the crease and you feel like you want to like mix it higher like it you want that second color to like blend into the first one but like a little bit higher what I like to do is like I'm working with the brush right here and blending it in what I'll do is once I barely have anything left on my brush I'm going to turn that brush around so that the pigment part is on the outside and I'm going to once again run it through the crease and that'll help spread it upwards a little bit more without having to switch your brush or anything like that that little trick um, tends to work for me I tend to do that a lot okay so I think for this look I'm not going to use any of the pinks or the like deep purple or anything like that I'm going to stick with more like yellow warm shades so I think I'm going to go ahead and grab the color Jasper next which is this one right here at the bottom in the center it's basically like a brick shade and I'm going to grab this brush right here this is the E25 by Sigma it's one of those like pinched blending brushes I love this one and we're going to grab that color Jasper and we're going to put it right here on the outer part of the eyelid and blend it upwards on the eyelid just like that blending it into the color carnelian just to deepen up that look and if you guys wanted to like just have these colors i feel like it would be very pretty to just put that color jasper all over the eyelid and then do a very similar thing underneath the eyes and you'll just have like a very warm sunset looking eye but i want to play with a bit more shades because this is my first time trying the palette so i am going to use some shimmers as well so i think for the rest of my eyelid i'm going to use this color right here it's called awakening the second color there and it's like a champagne color that has some like purpley reflex i think and i'm going to put it right here all over the eyelid i'm using my sephora collection number 15 brush oh yeah that's really pretty so i'm tapping 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 that color all over the eyelid and it goes on really nicely with this brush all right i'm really digging that it's really really pretty i think i'm going to grab a bit more of the color jasper and i'm going to darken up the outer corner of the eye by just tapping it there just tapping it on the outer corner and then i'm going to blend any edges with the other brush that had the color carnelian <laughs> with the other brush that had the color carnelian on it all right just like this i'm going to um pause the video here i'm going to do the rest of my face makeup and i will be right back to finish the under eye and show you guys the final look okay so i am back i did the rest of my makeup and let's go ahead and finish the under eyes so i think underneath my eyes i want to do very similar to what i did on the crease and for that i'm going to grab this brush right here this one is the e36 and what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the color jasper right here one more time and we are going to put that color right underneath our lower lash line so very very close to my lower lashes make sure you connect it right here at the end and we're going to bring it all the way to the tear duct area and then I'm going to grab the M506 in the color Cornelian down here and we are going to put it right underneath that orange. I'm going back with my M513 and this color here called Citrine, the lightest yellow color. And we're going to like smoke it all the way out right underneath my lower lashes. Lastly, for the inner corner, I'm going to use this color right here called Agate, I think, A-G-A-T-E. And I'm going to put it right here on the inner corner of the eye. And I like to take it a little bit like over the eyelid right there. I'm going to use a little bit of eyeliner. This one is from Pixie and it's a perfect eyeliner color for this look because it is a beautiful orangey eyeliner. And I put it in the waterline of my eye. Okay, so once you finish the eye look, this is what it should look like right here. I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on and I'll be right back. All right, guys, here I am, makeup fully done, and the mascara has been applied. I went ahead and used the Damn Girl Mascara by Too Faced. I have a video comparing this one to the Better Than Sex Mascara side by side, one in each eye. So if you guys want to see which one is better, make sure you check out the little eye right up there. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and link the video if you're interested so you can watch it after this video. Um, for right now, go ahead and take one final up close look at this makeup and let's go ahead and jump to my final first impressions on this palette. Okay guys, so I am back and I am here to tell you that I am simply delighted by this palette and how blendable the eyeshadows are and how buttery the eyeshadows are. I know I'm going to do, be doing a five looks one palette with it. I'm going on vacation on next Wednesday and I hope to have the five looks one palette up before that. Um, and I know that I'll be taking this palette with me to Miami and this is the only palette that I'll be using over there because I know that I am not going to be over it yet. <laughs> Um, not that I'm ever over any palettes, but you know, I put them on rotation. This one's going to be with me for like the next month or so, I think. So I hope you guys like this video. I definitely encourage you to try it if you can spend the $65 on it. It's by no means a cheap palette. I'm not claiming that it's a cheap palette, but just in comparison to what she used to release, it is a lot more affordable and it's more on par with the rest of the palettes that are on the market. They tend to be 50, 65, 45, around that price. So I think this is a lot more competitive with a lot of the palettes that come out, which is good for her brand and it's good for us as consumers that we can now afford um, palettes like this. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you leave. It really helps me out. It helps YouTube know that you guys are liking my videos. If this was the first video you watch of me, I hope you don't leave without subscribing to my channel. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye. P.S. I am still on the same lipstick. This is Origins in the color... Honey Blush, best nude ever. <laughs>